Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a tutorial on making your avatar quest compatible with the creator companion. So, in the last tutorial, we set up this project right here called Res. This was our Resonium. And so in this tutorial, we'll be making this quest compatible. So the first step is we're going to hit this little uh, three tabs here. We're going to go to open project folder, and this will bring us to where our projects are stored. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, right click on this, and I'm going to make sure that I hit copy and then I'm gonna go outside and hit paste so this will basically create a duplication of our project and this is what we're gonna do to make it quest compatible so after this is done I'm gonna give it a little bit as it uh, duplicates all the files okay now that that is done what we're actually going to do is we're gonna copy this uh, link up here and we're gonna head back to our creator companion so now we're gonna hit this little drop down and we're gonna do add existing project we're going to make sure that we're in the same folder and we're going to select the top one. So if you want to make sure that this is the right one, you just select date modified going down and it will give you the newest one, which is of course our copy here. We're going to hit select folder. This will add the project to our project uh, or to our creator companion. And now we're just going to hit open project. So this will open up the file. It will take a little bit. Okay, so now that we are inside of our Unity, what we're going to first start off by doing is we're going to make sure that we can actually go to the quest compatible side. Uh, in the first video, I uh, covered the um, steps that you need to do in order to be able to switch the quest. But just to double check, we're going to head over to Builder. We're going to hit Switch Target. And if we're able to switch to Android, that means that we are in the right uh, installation. So right now, currently, there's no Android support. But that's what we're going to fix in this tutorial. So the first step will be getting rid of uh, stuff that we don't need. So Quest, when we're converting it over, can't use Poyomi because it's a custom shader. So you actually can just completely delete the Poyomi folder and just completely get rid of it. Now, the only thing is sometimes uh, dependencies will rely on Poyomi's things for like eyes or shaders. So you might want to have to select those, save them, and then um, delete after. But in this example, I'm just going to straight up uh, delete it. Now I'm going to select my avatar here. And I'm going to uh, open this up and I'm going to go to body. And if I close down this blend shape tree, you can see that we have a lot of broken shaders, right? And so what we're actually going to do is we're going to select these and we're going to go to VR chat. We're going to go to mobile and we're going to either pick Toonlit or matte cap lip. I'm going to do Toonlit for this tutorial. And we're just going to go about that over and over. So this is a little bit of a process, but it doesn't take too long. We just switch them all over. And now in this example of the avatar, uh, the Rexonium actually uses a invisible shader to hide the clothing. As you can see, there's still clothing outline, but it's invisible. Now, if I were to change this to say tune lit, right? You will see all the clothing shows up and that's not what we want. So what we're actually going to do, VR chat, mobile, we're gonna go to particles and we're going to hit uh, multiply. And that will make a invisible shader to hide clothing. Now. There's also um, textures in this avatar that you have to swap to. And to find those, I'm going to go to my avatar. I'm going to go to materials. And you can see that there's these textures as well that are broken. So we're actually going to go and convert these as well. Uh, not all avatars have this, but of course, you got to make sure. Because sometimes if you don't fix these, it will look uh, horrific on Quest. So we're going to actually just go in and fix that by doing the same process of going to Toonlit and repeat and rinse this entire thing over and over. So of course, mobile to lit. Now I'm going to search for other ones as well. Other, uh, we can actually get rid of this optimized shader. So if you see the optimized shaders folder, this is basically created by Poyomi. You can completely delete these safely because you will not be using these and it just bulks up the file for no reason. Now uh, there's also this. So these materials I'm going to change. Again, you can get rid of the optimized shader here. Um, it's a lot of just the process of looking through your fi uh, files and seeing what you need to change. So whenever you're comparing, converting to Quest, you're 100% going to need to change these. Now, of course, some creators like to create their own separate Quest version. And in that case, I would 100% recommend doing that. Um, but this is, say, if you have a heavily modified avatar and you don't feel like re-adding everything and doing all the clothing and stuff, then you would just do this process of duplicating the project. 
and again delete optimize shaders go through check that these are all the right setting it looks right so I'm just gonna quickly have a quick look around to make sure that everything looks right here it does and so that first step is done now if we open up the VRChat SDK go to the show control panel it will show us a bunch of things that need to be changed before we can successfully upload to quest so as you can see there's these two red uh, exclamation marks now these mean there are major things wrong with the avatar thankfully these are just polygon count which you can ignore uh, technically you can ignore and the overall performance uh, notification you can technically ignore these now you can see that my uh, build and publish for Windows is highlighted so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna select Android and we're gonna switch it over to Android now so this process will take quite a while so I'm going to probably skip forward but anyways I will just show you uh, you click this you click confirm and you just have to wait now okay so now that we have uh, the SDK is refreshed now if we head over to builder you can see we have these errors here so this uh, stop sign looking thing with an exclamation mark means that if there's an error like this you cannot upload your avatar so we're gonna go through the process of fixing these now you may have some different ones and it may tell you to do different things and for some of those cases I will point them out even though I don't have them personally but to start off we're going to do this first one up here so there's a little auto fix button we're just gonna hit this and there's also another thing telling us that we have too many fizzbone components now I'm going to go through the process of how to properly check Fizzbone components. So as you can see, if I click on my avatar and I go over to this gizmo section, you can see that all these things here are Fizzbones, all these blue and white lines, and there's too many that it's telling us. So we're actually going to go ahead and try to find these and delete them. Now, there is a process of it will, depending on where your avatar creator puts it, they could put it on the body. And if you click here and see an outline of blue, you know it's on the body. But in my case, they did not. So if I click on armature here, you can see that some of these light up, meaning there's quite a few on the armature. Now, if I already click on hips next, you can see that I can see some kind of colliders on the cheeks, but this means the bones are not stored anywhere beyond this point. Now, some of your creators may put like the tail uh, bone on the tail here, and you can click it and you'll see that it will highlight. So this process is basically, you're gonna click on these one by one and keep searching for them in different sections. As you can see right here, I can find bones in the left leg. If I click on right leg, there's some in right leg. And you basically rinse and repeat that process. But uh, most of the bones that I want to delete will be an armature. Now, I will actually get rid of these toe bones as well. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to open up these drop downs. I'm going to find them. I would believe it's right here. And I'm just going to click this little thing right here and hit remove component. Now, I'm also going to find the other one here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing, remove component. Now, if we head over to our control panel again, bring it back up. It's a bit laggy. Now, you can see that our number went down from 13 to 11. So we just need to find three more bones that we want to delete. Now, I would recommend deleting bones that don't matter to you or ones that like are just unnecessary. So for this example, I'll be deleting these uh, ones on the whiskers and I'll be deleting the ones on the butt. Anyways, I'm going to find these. By the way, if there's so many stacked on top of each other, you can find out which each one is by just toggling it on and off. And you can see that it blinks here. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this one here. I hit remove component. And I'm gonna keep searching. Uh, let's see this one. I'm going to hit this, remove component. And let's go for the final one of the whiskers. So if I can find those, it should be is it here oh we can get rid of the brow ones too as you can see when you toggle they blink so we're gonna hit remove component and I'm going to find the final ones this is the fluff down here I'm gonna get rid of that as well and I think that's enough for me right now so I'm actually gonna head over to my VRChat SDK hit open control panel and after it has shown back up again it's pretty laggy now you can see that the warning here is gone and it now allows us to build and publish for Android. So what we're going to do is we're going to click build and publish for Android. 
and we're going to let it build and publish. So I will let this go on for a little bit. Okay, so now that we're in this control panel here, we can actually close this out. And you can see now that we are going to be uploading the quest side. As you can see, our name is the same here, our description is the same as last time, and we are just going to hit this little check and hit upload. So if you don't see the same settings from the last time, what you have to do is you have to go back to your other project. You have to go to the pipeline manager script. You can find this under your avatar. You're going to grab this ID and copy it, and you're going to put it inside of this one by hitting simply, you're going to control C, hit detach, and then paste the other one inside of here, and that will link it up and then you would want to re-upload. But anyways, as you can see, we're now in the update avatar section and I'm going to hit upload. Now this will also take a little bit of time as it gets the file ready. Now, there we go. Uh, you have successfully uploaded your avatar to Quest. Now, I will state uh, in this section right here that there are quite a few things that could go wrong in this process. So I will try my best to uh, go through some of them. So there may be a warning that pops up that says you are above X amount of megabytes over 10. Now, one of the, the fixes to this is basically what you wanna do is you wanna go to your avatar and you wanna go inside and find your textures. And you're going to go through every single one of these. You're gonna set the size down. So sometimes it'll be 4K. You wanna try to set it down to either 2K or 1K. And you can go even smaller if you want, but you just wanna rinse and repeat that process for every single one of these files here. So as you can see, this one would be, this one's 2K. You could set that down to 1K and you basically want to do that. You also want to make sure that you have crunch compression on and you want to have the compressor quality to 100. And you can tweak these numbers a little bit to try to get a better result anyways. And you want to make sure that the, again, the size would be lower. Uh, but thankfully I was able to upload successfully. Anyways, that's just one of the things to note. There are a few other intricacies uh, with avatar uploading that I may not be able to cover in this video, and I may have to make a separate video too. I will, if that ends up coming, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Anyways, this has been a video on how to upload your avatar to Quest. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, pl uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Anyways, this has been Pinky, and uh, have a good rest of your day. A major shout out to my Patreons, that being Tef, Sir Fappingson, Foxy DK, Logs, Hamu, Maple the Proto, and Sarcastic Split. What you guys do to support me helps me make videos and I appreciate it very much. Um, and if you would like a little funny desk buddy, uh, please subscribe to the Patreon. It would be under the tier three section. Anyways, thank you very much for your support. I wish you guys the best and I'll see you guys in the next video.